This is BBC Radio Kent. Thanks for your company. Uh, we're full of great photographs on Facebook this morning. Let's talk about one of them. We've put another stunning photo from a community exhibition in Whitstable on our Facebook page this morning. Now, if you search on Facebook for BBC Radio Kent official, you can't miss it. It is so colourful. Uh, four children outside a bright yellow and red beautifully painted lifeguard hut on the seafront in Whitstable. Now, why is it there? Well, all this week we're hearing the stories behind pictures from Project 365, which has seen 365 images of Whitstable taken, all of them taken by local residents throughout 2013, so one for each day of the year, and they're being displayed at Whitstable Museum and Gallery. The exhibition runs throughout the summer. Let's talk to George Fisk, who took this latest photograph. George, great to have you with us. Congratulations. It's a, a real belter. Oh, thank you, Jules. Nice to be on the show. Uh, and lovely to have you with us. Tell me a little bit about the photo. What is it of? Where is it? And who's in the photograph? Um, the image is uh, actually along Tankerton Seafront, um, which the um, 365 project for Whitstable covered um, all of CT5, basically. Um, it's the lifeguard hut that's um, just down, really, from um, the Marine Hotel. And the four children in there are my grandchildren. Tell um, me their names. Uh, Who are they? Um, we've got uh, Ted, who's the eldest, with his his brother Rupert in front of him yeah. and uh, Nate is next to him and then Leo is on the uh, left hand side. Is he the one holding the little green spade? Uh, yes, um, yes that's right yeah. L on the left as you look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, they all, are they all related, to, are they all in the same family or are they cousins? Um, yeah, well, they're um, they're cousins. Okay. They're um, my my daughters and my son's children. Yeah. Okay. They look lovely. <laughs> Tell me about them. What sort of children uh, are they? <laughs> they're um, they're an interesting crowd because they um, they're quite close generally. Um, they they do see quite a lot of each other, and uh, they've they've grown up. Ted's uh, well, when the when the image was taken, they were sort of four, three, two, and one or thereabouts. Mm -hmm and um, quite a handful, and obviously still are, but uh, they, uh, they offer me quite a few nice uh, opportunities to, to practice my photography skills, yeah. and uh, I refer to them as the musketeers, uh, <laughs> mainly because there's four of them, yeah. and um, I, I, I try and um, document their mm. sort of growth, really. Do they, do they live down here as well? Yes, two of them live in Whitstable and, and two of them uh, live over in Thanet. Okay. So, but, uh, yeah, obviously their parents grew up in yeah. Whitstable. Yeah. Well, unfortunately not born in Whitstable because we, uh, we don't have those places anymore, but uh, Canterbury and, mm. yeah, these, the, these four were, uh, were born in Margate. Mm. But mm. Do, they, are they, do they do what my kids do? Every time you take a photograph, you have to turn the camera around and show them what you've taken. Um, yeah, sometimes. Um, I've, I've learnt with them, to be honest, that you have to um, get yourself all prepared and, and you have a moment. And I try and get as many opportunities to get the four of them together and then rattle off a few shots mm -hmm. and then they're all gone, yeah. basically. Yeah, so, there's a real skill to taking photographs of kids, isn't there? <laughs> there is a, it's a bit of an art, yeah. You, you end up with a lot of uh, stuff on the cutting room floor. Mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully you get a few decent ones. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you a professional or an amateur, George? No, no, no just a keen amateur, really. Yeah. Um, been sort of uh, taking snaps for a few years, a bit more seriously with landscapes and that over the last probably 10 years. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's no, no doubt a, 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 an amateur, mm. certainly by far. You've lived there a long time. How has the area changed over the years? Um, the Whistable's become very much an in-place, very busy and um, whereas it used to be, I, I suppose, a sort of more sleepy uh, fishing town now, as, as, as you're probably aware, when you're trying to sort of uh, get in the town, it can be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Getting out of the town can be a nightmare, and um, there's, there's just people everywhere, certainly, it's, yeah. uh, you know, especially at weekends, but uh, it's good for the town. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. mm -hmm. Well, then taking photographs, you see the world in a different way when you're looking through the lens of a camera, don't you? Do you notice things that you might not have noticed before? Um, I think you you do notice some things, but I also think you miss a lot because you you, you tend to be looking through that viewfinder. You, you're looking at a small area, so sometimes you, you need to sort of step back and watch rather than than sort of look at it through the viewfinder, really, because that that's quite limiting, I find. Mm. But it does give you things to look back through, and and basically gives you a you know sort of a, a historic record. Yeah. 
yes, and, and perhaps what we're doing now, certainly with the 365, will hopefully be viewed in you know, years to come as to how the town was then. You, they've used your photograph to publicise the exhibition, which is, which is great for you. What do you oh. think it was about your photo that sort of made it stand out as the kind of the photo to represent all of them? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's quite an honour, obviously, to, to, to out of all the images. And, I mean, there are some great images. And, I mean, obviously, a couple of people, you, that Sue and Nick, that you've interviewed this week, have, have done some stunning work. Um, I, I guess it's those four angelic little boys that, uh, that aren't really as angelic as <laughs> That's going to be a treasure for them when they're older. But it's a lovely image to represent the area. I can imagine it on, you know, in guidebooks or used for postcards or any of those sorts of things. Yeah, I, I suppose it's, you know, the, the colour's quite, um, it stands out, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, very vibrant, very vibrant. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've enjoyed looking at it. It's on our Facebook page for people who can't make it to the exhibition. Lovely to have you on the show this morning, George. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Pleasure. George Fisk, born and bred in Whitstable and been taking photos since the 1970s. This is BBC Radio Kent. If you'd like to see the photograph and others in the series, they're on our Facebook page. Go to Facebook uh, and tap in BBC Radio Kent Official next to the photograph.